Okay, buddy. Um, I'm going to do this tutorial because I've had a couple people request it, and, uh, well, I don't see any video ones out there. So, what I'm going to do is basically a dimmer module, which is what you can see there, which is running my rack there, and one of the shells up there, which isn't being used right now. Um, I would not recommend using a dimmer switch unless, um, you were going to be keeping an eye on it constantly uh, because temperature fluctuations in the room will result in temperature fluctuations on the tape. And if the dimmer goes out, then you're going to get full power or no power, one of the two. It's not like a thermostat. Um, so again, it would be something that you only want to use in things that you don't have to be very precise with. Uh, such as leopard geckos, they have a wide range that they can go to that's okay if you catch it in time. Um, but uh, what we're going to do here is get some things started and this is a great way to do something temporarily uh, maybe for a snake or something like that uh, if you don't have a um, thermostat or if you're waiting on one or if yours goes out uh, whereas myself I work at home so I'm never really gone anyway and I have plenty of time to come in here and check the temperatures on everything and adjust it as needed. And I have to adjust it sometimes two or three times a day. So, um, just your warning. Uh, but for what you'll need is, um, of course, one of these. I get them at Walmart. Um, they're about, no, oh, 93 cents a piece, something like that. So it's a six foot extension cord and it's got the uh, little three plug adapter there, which looks like this, which is one that I cut off of another one. For my heat tape, um, you'll need a single gang box. I believe these were under a dollar as well. They're not too expensive. A dimmer module, uh, which is, is a 600 watt one, 600 watt max. Uh, that's very important. And uh, if you don't know why, well, you probably shouldn't be using heat tape. Um, this is a rotate on off dimmer. I like the rotate ones because I don't like the push on and off. Because if you have it setting down, it gets turned off well it can drive you nuts um, but that's the actual module you will need an exacto knife some pliers uh, actually the pliers probably I won't need except for cutting um, some electrical tape a screwdriver of course and a wall plate um, that will cover up over it and what I like to do on all of mine is take a Sharpie and uh, I'll show you the one I got used right here and mark where the off position is and then where it is at full strength and then put a little mark on the actual dimmer itself so that way you could like this one is only about half high uh, it's at about half power and it runs my tape and my tape is about 95 degrees on this tape and the inside of the tub is about 88 so um, that's just because the way that my tubs are they raise up a little bit so um, so that's basically all the materials that you'll need right there and uh, first thing that we're going to do is cut the cord and separate the cables okay and what you want to do I go to the second bend on it and you want to cut off this piece and then split it down the middle and then strip the wires. Now, if you look at the cables, and this is the rest of it, you'll need both ends. Um, the hot end, which is positive, which is the fat one, if you follow that, I don't know how well this is picking up, but it's got ridges around here on the outside, whereas this other one is smooth. That's how you can tell which cable is which. The polarized one is the hot cable. It's the positive one. That's the one. It's got the ridges here on the side. The other side has nothing. You want to take note of that whenever you're doing this because you will need to get there's two there are two separate wires and you don't want to cross them. Otherwise, bad things can happen. So, <laughs> for uh, after you get those taken taken off and cut apart, you want to grab your gang box. And on the end you have these little tabs and you want to push through as you can see 
Um, I just used the pliers and I just banged on it until it broke the little clips there. Like that. And then what you want to do is you want to feed the wires through the gang box. Okay. Um, and as you can see, I fed them both through. There's two different ways you can do this. I threaded both through at the same side. Um, you can do one at one side, one at the other. Uh, side note, um, strip the cables after you get them through. <laughs> um, I did the, I haven't made one since about 2006, so uh, I did both of them, and then you can get some frayed ends. But it doesn't really matter, but it does make everything a little bit easier. But don't worry about it being so short, because when we get everything done, we pull it all through. It's going to be longer in the end. Um, but as you can see, the one I got down there, there's one at each end. The one that I've got up there has one, both of them coming in at the same side. Um, so basically what you want to do whenever you get this done is you want to just set that whole thing aside and then open up your dimmer module, which I'll do now. Okay, once you have your dimmer module unpacked, you'll get this basic component. This is the actual dimmer module. The wires we'll talk about here in just a moment. It should have the three pigtail nuts or screw nuts. And usually it will come with the one now to get it out of the box. You do have to pop the cap off. Um, just so you know, because it's got this little piece of paper around it. Um, so this one, it came with two, I guess, if you have a white or a beige. It um, doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm only going to be using the white one, so I'm going to set the beige one aside. So this is your basic components on what you need. Um, you have the two lead-in wires and then your ground wire. Now, if you're doing one that had, like, as you can see, I only have the two because they're they're non-grounded plugs. Now, if you can find the uh, little box to do uh, a grounded plug, and you uh, theoretically you can hook up a power strip since it needs to be grounded, and you would be able to run several at once. However, I haven't done this, haven't confirmed it, and if you're going to be running more than just a couple of shells, you should probably get a thermostat anyway. <laughs> But um, so in this particular set, we will not be using the green because we're not using the ground. So basically what you want to do usually with that is just fold it over and uh, tape it up with the electrical tape. And then what you want to do is uh, find your two cables that are, that have the little, the little sides on it. Like I said, the ones that are, are different, the ones that are connected to the polarized plug. Now both of those will attach to the black wires. Then your negative ones, which are the flat ones that don't have the little ridge on the outside, you'll put those two together and use a nut to, con to put them both together. And okay, and as you can see, I have both of the edges, one from each wire, connected to the blacks, and then the two smooth ones from the uh, each side go together. So you have the two negatives and then the positives actually go to the dimmer. And then what I did here was I just taped up the ground since we're not going to be using it. Now you can use electrical tape inside the wire nuts. I don't like to from time to time because sometimes if it gets hot anywhere the electrical tape, the glue can go in there and cause some problems. You just want to make sure that you get them in there good enough to where they're not going to pull apart. And uh, most of the new wire nuts now are very good about that. I know the old pigtails used to be really short, like maybe about half of this length, and you can run into some problems. But basically, at this point, it's done. Everything is wired up the way it needs to be. All you'd have to do is just pull the cables through, put this back into here, and use the little screws to screw it into the little plate. And that's what I will be doing at this point. Okay, now that I have the wires pulled back through, as you can see, see it left quite a tag there, which is good, and I have it mounted into the, the gang box. Pretty much at this point, you're done. All you have to do now is attach the faceplate, which is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You put it on there, and it's got a screw here and here that connect right there and right there. And then you put the little tab on, and it's in its off position. And I've tried to make this as simple as I can. Uh, there's plenty of step-by-step -step places to do it. 
I just wanted to get this one up um, because some people were asking me lately. And um, that's pretty much it. Okay, and this is the final test to make sure everything's working fine. I've hooked up my lamp for my Crested Gecko cage into the dimmer module that we just built. You can see here. And if you turn the knob, the light slowly goes out. Turn all the way, comes back on. Now the kind of light that I have in there doesn't like the dimming, but works just fine.